The main purpose of the Fibonacci sequence is to what? Here's, here's the why, why you're here, and uh, to open gateways into alternate realities and to explore higher states of consciousness. Why? To empower a creative healing response. Now, the word healing has taken on so much more than just, I'm broken, fix me. But it's taken on a depth of meaning that means so much in the sense of the healing process of our planet uh, and the consciousness of our planet. They are excellent sound healing instruments, especially when they're used for working with creativity, vision quests, addictions, and healing traumas. We, we still hold on to this whole 3D idea that uh, you fix things on the level in which it happened. <laughs> and people still think that. That's what all the budding heads are about today right now is everybody thinks they can fix the system, the system that was. It can be better. It can be greater. Let's get back to. And what's lacking is the vision of the potential that is before us. So I'm not here interested to go back and fix the political system or the religious system or the science system because I see potential opening up. But how do we access that potential in the levels of consciousness is by using the right alignment of the series of the Fibonacci. I know all of you would like to go to the land of peace, uh, passes understanding, into the land of happiness and serenity and joy and calmness. All of you would like to go to the land of divine health. Huh? And a lot of us have been trying to do it for a long time. Some of us are not new at this. Why are we not there? Because we've not understood how to align ourselves to something that already exists in a higher state of ourselves. But we keep in the old state and try to make it work down here. This will take you to the land of Oz by Alice going down the rabbit hole to discover the wonderland. They discover realities within realities. I'm here in this workshop to change your lives and show you that if you will work with divine law, divine law will work for you. The one one is the beginning. One two is space. Nicely done, thank you. The two three is balance. It's a perfect fifth in music. Three five, dreams. The five eight is the inner voice. Eight thirteen, we made it to the mystical passageway. Thirteen twenty one, the gateway. And we've come from that third ventricle of the brain. Everything is in balance to the pineal gland, the eye of God. Look beyond the chaos of existence and you see order. Order is behind all disorder. All disorder is being ordered. <laughs> It's not a separate thing. It is one order going into a state to reorder itself. And it has to break the old order down in which to do that. And you are living in that time. And if you can get in touch with it, you will realize you're not here by accident, but you're here to live through this transaction and to step up and become a light worker to assist people to the next level of their bioconscious evolution. Awakening the divine code, your inherent natural blueprint, will allow you to begin to live nature's path of least resistance and maximum performance. Some people that you might know who has used the golden 
is Einstein, Da Vinci, Fibonacci, Pythagoras, Plato, Watson and Crick, and countless other divine code geniuses throughout history. So why shouldn't we share in this kind of power that a few have tapped into and become powerful and rich? Uh, when we become like that, then there won't be such a gap between people. There won't be the, the uh, poor and the, the rich. Have and the, the have-nots. Yeah, the have and the have-nots. <laughs> That'll be done away with when we're all coming from the same source within all of us that holds the universal consciousness of all things. Isn't he amazing? Yeah. <laughs>